Recording is on. Hello, my name is Adriana. Today I want to tell you about the structural connectivity in the Lower Uruguay River Forest. I use of earth for landscape ecology. I do this work together with Maria Basalo and Natalia Brandel. We want to measure the structural connectivity of the landscape to know the state of conservation in the study area. This information is useful to face the challenge in the conservation of the biodiversity that the area presents, particularly in the hydrophilic forest and the open forest. The story area is located between two countries, half in Argentina and the other in Uruguay, and covers an area of approximately 4,769,200 hectares. We estimate the structural connectivity of the hydrophilic forest and the open forest in the basin of the main tributary of the Lower Uruguay River for this three years, where inputs were land cover classification previously generated with unsupervised classification and Landsat image. The study area was subdivided in, into self of one square kilometer. This is approximately 50,000 self in the entire area. Connectivity was estimated by calculating 14 landscape metrics for age of the cells and for age of the dates. We perform a um, principal component analysis, PCA for short, to reduce the dimensionality of landscape connectivity metrics and have an easier measure without return variable. This is a large amount of data to process in the used software, so we decide to use error. These are delivery we use. We uh, library S F a support for simple filter and reading and writing health data and for performance on geometrical operation. Tidy Bear and DPLAR, it's a low work with data table and data frame. A state contain function for a statistical calculation. And this in for Excel and simplified the creation of Excel. Factor extra, a factor minimum, if you multivariate exploratory data analysis, data minimum, and visualization of multivariate analysis output. This code for PCA. First, import the file with connectivity index result. Later, delete the NAs in the data frame. And later performs principal component analysis. Finally, extra information for aim values, aim vector, and information for observation. Here we can see output of PCA and aim values, aim vector for the result of PCA. We reduce the dimensional of two because dimension one and dimension two explain 70% of the variability. We define the grace connectivity is those observation that are the second quadrant here, because there they find the high connectivity values for the uh, index. How when we want to see connectivity spread spatially, we generate a shape to be able to make a map. First, import the file result of PC8 and um, later convert CSV file in the shape file. Finally, generate a shape file with the connectivity index and the coordinate of the observation. 
there are two examples of connectivity in map. This is um, map for open forest. This is map for earthquake forest. The connectivity differ along the Uruguay River and decrease as we move away from the Uruguay River. The connectivity pattern observed differ between the two types of forest. The use of air allows us to generate a simple measure connectivity with the analysis of PCA and also to be able to obtain shape file for the connectivity map and visualize and analyze the spatial pattern of connectivity. Thank you for your attention.